Hi, Dave from Buzzy here. In this video, we're going to do a very quick run through of how to set up a login flow using Buzzy and Figma. Um, so this is going to be a very simple login flow. Uh, it's going to assume that a user is added to the app manually by an admin and then they can log in. Um, so there's no registration or onboarding or anything like that at this point. We're just going to demo it really simply. So I've created a simple app here. There's a login screen, there's a login pending screen, and there's my app start page. Uh, this has all been defined already and marked up with the Buzzy plugin. So I've defined my screens. There's a single form on the login screen which captures an email address, submits, takes the user to this screen. Um, so that's all marked up, ready to go. So if we go and publish our app now, so we'll convert this to a new Buzzy app. And if I click on the preview here, it's launched off screen. Here it is, loading. So this is the app we've just published. It's going to take me straight to the start page because the app is public. So the first thing we're going to have to do is make this app private so it's only accessible if you log in. So we're going to need to go to the Buzzy CMS for this. So in the plugin here, click the CMS URL. And here it is. And so this is the app we have just published. We're going to go to settings. We're going to make it private, which means it'll only be accessible to people who have um, been granted access in the participants list of this app. And as I mentioned before, that's going to happen manually in this demo. Um, the other thing we need to do, second thing we need to do is because we've just made the app private, none of the screens are accessible. However, to log in, someone's going to need to see a login screen. So. This is where we can define these screens. So we can define a login screen and a confirmation screen for that, which is the My Login Pending page. So these two screens are now outside of that um, locked private scope of the app. So they'll be publicly accessible so somebody can log in. Um, so that's done. So now if um, we go and hit this URL in an incognito window. So this window is, I'm not logged in here. Um, it doesn't know who I am, so if I try and hit the same app, there we go, it's taken me to the login page, not the start screen. In this browser window, I'm logged in because I'm the creator of the app and I'm logged into the Figma plugin, the Fuzzy plugin in Figma. Um, so yeah, this, in the incognito window, I am not allowed in yet. If I enter my email address now though, nothing will happen. We've we'll simply stopped the user from getting into the app and presented them with this screen. So if I enter the email address, it will submit the address, but it won't um, trigger a login token, which is what we want to happen. So I can submit an email and click login. It'll take me to the pending screen again. If I go to the CMS, that's captured that input. It's captured my email address, but it hasn't done anything with it. We need to trigger that, in, that submit um, needs to trigger a login token being sent. So we'll go to the settings of this uh, login app, micro app, go to the advanced tab. Under rules, we can add a rule that when a row is submitted, a re result is submitted, we're going to send a login token and we can keep the submission or you can discard it as you go. Um, we'll keep them in this context. Um, choose the email field that it's looking for the email address to send a token to, which is my login email, which is the field name we gave that email field in this micro app. The route, app route is the designed app. So it's the interface that you see in the browser window here, for instance. The go route is the CMS. Uh, we want to take people to the front end, not the back end, so we'll choose the app route. And then the app, again, it's going to be this app we've just published. There's potential to do this across apps as well, but we're going to just keep it in the one app. So this is the login demo simple. Let me choose that. There it is. And the screen that we're going to go to is we want people, once they log in, we want them to go to the start page. Click add rule. And if we scroll to the top, that rule's been added. So you can add multiple um, actions and rules and events and so on um, within a micro app. We only need the one. We just want to send a login token when someone submits. So that's it. So now if I go back here and this is my incognito window, and if I log in again, or if I try again now, 
put my email address in and click login. You'll see that submission just went in. Importantly though, it will also have triggered, and we just saw that come in right then, a uh, login token. Um, I'm not going to click this again because I'm logged in in this window already. So I'm going to copy the link in that token and I'm going to paste it into the incognito window where I'm not logged in. So I'll paste that link in here. The browser is evaluating, or Buzzy is evaluating that token and redirecting me to the start page. So just like that, I've created a private app that I have now logged into in an incognito window. I've um, being able to do that without any code, straight from Figma and in Buzzy. Um, if I want to add extra participants, now this worked because this user that I logged in as in some way um, sent the token to is already in the participants list because it's me. I'm the person that created the app and it's the same email. So if I want to add extra users to this app, for instance, to test, go to people and I can add new users. So I can do, you know, can choose one of my... Um, Alter Egos, Login Demo, Dave. And he's been added as an audience member now. So he too can access this app if he if he um, tries to access it and requests a login token. He'll get sent the token and can access it. If you're not in this participant list, you won't be able to do that. So um, at that point, this you know, you could add self-registration and so on to this app and build it out like that, or you can leave it as you know, it's manually done by an admin. Um, so yeah, that's it. We've just built a login form in Buzzy. Now, one thing to note too is this, again, this participants list works for users that have registered to Buzzy. If I had someone who's not part of, who hasn't yet registered for Buzzy, um, it's going to send them the invite they'll get an invite to the app and when that so that's this invite here so that when I just added login demo Dave he got sent the invite to go to the app and you can click that so if he hasn't yet registered for Buzzy he'll get taken through a Buzzy onboarding process at that point that's purely because we're doing this in context of this demo we're doing this on the Buzzy shared server app.buzzy company which is what you hit when you use the Buzzy plugin in Figma and try it out for free. If you deploy to your own server and you can do that through Buzzy, then you can um, control those settings and the onboarding process and so on will be up to you. But in this context, just bear that in mind. If you're sending it to other people, they'll hit Buzzy's terms and conditions before they can get in. But that's it. Login demo. Thanks for watching.